A lot of some people might be interested in seeing some of the rarer pressings from the UK on the RCA and RCA Victor labels. So what would happen is Elvis's albums were, most of them were available for many, many years and later pressings would be on a different label to the original. And those later label versions can be quite difficult to find because obviously sales had slowed down by that point. So we'll just have a look at the five main label designs that they use from 57 to the early 70s. First one, which was originally used on the Loving You 10 inch LP, looked very much like that. This is the Elvis LP, quite similar to for, L for LP fans only from 1959. Black label, RCA silver spot there. And that label design they used up until the end of 1962. Then they changed the design to this RCA Victor label. Still black. The RCA logo is much smaller. And the first album to come out with that label was actually the Rock and Roll number two album. This one that we're looking at here is Girls, Girls, Girls. Then they carried on using that label design for just a short period of time actually until April 1964 when the design changed to what's known as the red dot label. This is Golden Records Volume 3 and this was the first new album to be released with that label design. And they carried on using that label design right up until the end of the 60s when RCA switched to the orange label. So we'll take a look at the first orange label design, which came with the TV special album from 69. That was released in April 1969. And that had what is referred to as the small orange label. So called because the label doesn't quite run until the edge of the runout area. It's a little bit smaller than your standard label design. And then shortly after that, they switched to a standard sized orange label. I think beginning with this album from August 1969 from Elvis in Memphis. And the label looks like that. So it's the regular size label. Okay, so there were variations on the orange label theme in the 70s, but they were basically the five label designs that we're going to look at. So I'm going to show you about a dozen albums that I've got that have different labels to the ones that they had when they were first released. So give me a second. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is I'll present them in the order that they were originally released, not in the order that these reissues uh, came out. You'll see what I mean as we go through. So the first one I've got is a copy of the Christmas album, which, as you can see, has a completely different cover to the American album. These are all later pressings, of course, and this one is from 1964. So it's on this red spot or red dot label. The next one I have is another Christmas album. The cover is pretty much identical. The original back cover was slightly different. There was, I think there's a couple of pictures on the back there. And this, I think, one is the very last copy of that album. And it came with these small orange labels. Moving forward to King Creole. This particular copy is from 1969. You notice that even in the late 60s they were still releasing mono records in the UK. And this one has the small orange label design. This is a date with Elvis. Again, compared to the American cover, the sleeve is very simple, just a calendar on the back, no gatefold. And it was always like that, right from 1959. 
And the copy that I've got here is actually the 1963 copy with the small silver spot logo. This one is a little bit more difficult to find than the red spot. The red spots are fairly easy to find. Okay, next we're going to 1970. This is Elvis's Golden Records Volume 2, as it was known in the UK. And if you look at the track listing, you'll see it had more songs than the American version. There's a back cover. I actually got this one from a seller in America. Most of these I got from the UK, understandably enough. So this one has an orange label from 1970. Then we go to something for everybody. Originally from 1961, of course. With this dreadful little design here, which I've complained about before. And this particular copy comes from 1968. On the red spot label. And this was reissued on RCA with an orange label shortly after. Next, Girls, Girls, Girls. This is a mono copy. And this one is from 1971. The next one can be quite hard to find. It's It happened at the World's Fair. This is a later pressing. The early ones had fully laminated sleeves. This one is not laminated on the back. This one is from 1965. So it has that red spot design. The next one is my only copy of Funny Acapulco from the UK. This is a mono pressing. This is another one that you tend to find has a fully laminated sleeve on the early editions. This one is not laminated on the back. And this is also a red spot copy from 1967. The next one has not only a label that looks different from the original, but also the cover is completely different. This one may be unfamiliar to many people outside the UK. It's an Elvis for everyone from 1972. That's the back cover. The sleeve notes here say that the running order has changed, but in fact, it's exactly the same as the 1965 version. And you'll notice that in the UK, we got Wild in the Country on side one instead of Summer Kisses Winter Tears, which had been released earlier on another album. And uh, there is the label. And we go to How Great Thou Art. This particular copy is from 1971. So it's another orange label. And they reissued this album slightly after this particular copy was pressed with a new catalog number. The next one, Double Trouble. So it's my stereo copy. I do have a mono original. This one is a, a later one. And this particular copy is from 1970. This album disappeared for quite a few years until they reissued it in about 1980 on the RCA International label. And the last one, it's a mono copy of Speedway. Not as difficult to find in the UK as it is in America. 
and this one is from 1969 and it's on that small orange label so what do you think uh, have you got any other unusual RCA RCA Victor variants from the UK from around that period if you have let me know in the comments section below but that's it for this video thanks for watching take care cheers